Now let's look at how we can easily gain even further efficiencies using automatic parallelization with workload balancing. We'll look here at SAS Data Integration Studio, a visual design tool for building, implementing, and managing data integration steps common in enterprise applications. Data Integration Studio is grid-enabled, allowing me to easily take advantage of parallelization opportunities. We have a loop, as we can see here, where we perform a series of analysis steps 12 times against data collected for each month of the year. I'll select the Properties tab. In the Loop Options tab, we can identify calculations inside loops that are independent and can run in parallel. This is very useful for a variety of common tasks like data loading, data cleansing, or transformation operations. Even with just a small grid environment, unrolling loops like this and executing iterations in parallel can lead to an order of magnitude increase in performance. As a user, I just need to check a box, and SAS Grid Manager handles this for me automatically. Before we wrap up, let's look at the problem of ensuring reliability a little more and see how Platform RTM for SAS helps us enhance the availability of the SAS environment. By selecting the High Availability tab, we can view application services configured to be highly available. We can make multiple services highly available if we choose. The grid will monitor such services and ensure that they restart automatically on failure on an alternate compute host if needed. In this example, we've made sure that the SAS metadata service, a critical component in the SAS architecture, is always available. The metadata service is active on our primary host, and if there's any problems, we've identified the failover host to automatically restart the service on. We can explore in more detail how we make these services available using the HA facilities under the Platform RTM for SAS Configuration tab. Here we can control details like the primary host, secondary host, and how quickly failover should occur. We can also provide execution settings that control how HA services are started and stopped and identify other prerequisite services that need to be running first. With Platform RTM for SAS, Platform LSF facilities are similarly easy to configure. This is where we configure policies that govern how grid resources are shared between various SAS applications and users. Now we're looking at the cluster hosts. We can drill down through the web interface and configure properties of these machines and identify the SAS components that each is capable of running using the resources facility. We can also configure queues. For example, certain SAS user groups or applications might be constrained to run only on certain hosts or at particular times of the day or week. One application might be deemed to be more business critical than another and given priority during busy periods. Let's select the priority queue. The configuration of queues is self-documenting and performed entirely through the web. Grid administrators can configure policies that control how resources are allocated between users, applications, and departments. By making a queue preemptive, we signal that the priority workloads in this queue can in some circumstances preempt less critical workloads. Much as we can make services like the SAS metadata service highly available, as we saw earlier, we can also make individual SAS jobs rerunnable. In this case, the grid layer takes responsibility for ensuring the job completes regardless of any failures. This is one of the important ways the SAS Grid Manager helps guarantee the business critical workflows complete. Finally, alerting facilities in Platform RTM for SAS can provide proactive notification of potential problems even before application level problems occur. This is yet another way that administrators can ensure a more reliable infrastructure. Let's recap what we've covered. SAS Grid Manager provides continuity of business process, eliminates the need for dedicated standby systems, and makes SAS services highly available without the need for extra cost HA solutions. Let's quickly summarize the benefits of SAS Grid Manager. SAS Grid Manager provides centralized management of all SAS workloads with policy controls. Users enjoy improved service levels and faster analysis owing to the ability to speed up processing. SAS Grid Manager ensures that the analysis platform is highly reliable. And finally, by better using assets and sharing them more effectively, organizations can reduce IT spending and accommodate new applications without incremental investments in hardware. We hope you've enjoyed this overview of SAS Grid Computing. Thank you for your time.